welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm RJ. Today we're actually on here to talk to some, about something that, um, not marshmallows, to talk about something that is really something we want you to think about. Um, if you follow us at all, you know that Lee is called the grumpy old man, right? Uh -huh. And he, uh -huh. Uh -huh. If he, if he doesn't take his happy pills, what happens? Yeah, he can pretty much take your head off, huh? So, he's not a very happy person without his happy pills. Um, He's just always been that way. A happy pill a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> so, and here lately, we've been on one of those roller coasters because he quit taking them. He felt so good that he didn't think he needed them anymore. It, it just happens from time to time. If you've ever lived with somebody who has mild depression, you know it's kind of, mm, 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 and sometimes it goes, mm, and then comes back up. And so, here's the thing, guys. We've heard people say that they want to live a simpler lifestyle for less stress and a healthy mind. The problem is, is my husband's been living this life. We can. We cook. We uh, rope. But all the garden, uh, not so much. But you see what I'm saying? We live on a farm. We live a simple lifestyle. We don't go excessive on anything. And he still has his issues. So we try to convince him that you have to make a choice that you're going to be happy that day. You're going to look for even just one little thing positive. It doesn't mean the day is going to be great, but you have to work at having good mental health. So, RJ and I are going to take you around the farm and we're going to show you our happy places so that when we get there, we can go someplace else, right? <laughs> All right, so here's our happy places. In inclement weather, this is my happy place, my room. Okay. And we just got it done not too long ago. It's got your entertainment area, your couch, which pulls out into a bed, foosball table over here to our right. But all right, anything else? Yeah. So anyway, all right. So let's go check out your happy place in wonderful weather. This is my happy place when the weather's good. Where are we? The arena. Okay, so there's Coop back there. And these are the chutes. This is the pull string to open the chutes. And this is where you look out, correct? Yep. So, how many hours a day do you think you stay in here? Because you come out here almost every day, do you not? Yep. Okay, so how long do you think it takes to make you happy every day? Three, four, five, six. <laughs> Maybe 10, maybe 20. <laughs> Depends upon the day. Just how many hours. Depends on how much you had to deal with Dad, huh? Yep. All right. Well, RJ's happy place changes with the weather. Mine changes with the seasons. During lambing season in the spring, from the first birth to the very last, this barn here is my happy place. Okay, so during the summer and the fall, this is my other happy place. And this is the garden. Now it used to be a spot that I really didn't care for because number one, we didn't have a swing down here. And number two, right over there used to be a big brush pile and I couldn't stand the sight of it. So we're gonna find someplace else to put the brush pile and we're gonna have my lovely garden down here. And I'm super excited to build this part up as my summer, fall, favorite spot. <laughs> okay. And as with all places, we also have those not so happy places, huh? Don't make me go there no more. Don't make <laughs> me go. Come with us and I'll show you where we're not so happy with either. Don't make me go. While this garden might be mom's favorite spot, it's my least favorite spot. How there's come? There's snakes here. Snakes? How do you figure there's snakes here? 
been three snakes seen, and they were all headed to the garden. How do you figure? One was there, one was in the garden, and one was over there. Garden's the middle point. So you just say you don't like the garden because snakes were around it? Yep. You big wuss. Okay, so this is my least happy place, and it's not for any other reason other than <laughs> there's Delilah. She's not my unhappy place. <laughs> oh, come here. Delilah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and back to our regularly <laughs> scheduled program. And off she runs. <laughs> She's like, oh, no, I'm out of here. Alright, this is actually my unhappy place because it's got all the equipment in it. It's got our extra hay ring. It's got um, wool from shearing that needs to go down into the garden that hasn't been used. It's got extra feeders, fencing, kennels and cages, the hay. Uh, pallets, the trash pile is here, um, just a lot of everything that can't really be cleaned up. I like clean and organized, um, and this is just not clean to me. So this is my least happy place to be. Okay. If you're seeing this, I didn't die in my not so happy place. <laughs> now, if I'm not here... I'm regretfully to inform you, I was eaten by a monster snake. <laughs> okay. A.K.A. the Loch Ness Monster, as we call him. Will you stop? Okay. Me. We know this is a serious topic, okay? And we're being silly, but don't take our word for it. Um, we've put out a few feelers, and we're going to challenge a couple of people that we know um, have either addressed this issue are just really fun to watch when we want to see what they say or have a reason to have a happy place. So our first challenge is going to go out to Daniel of Arms Family Homestead and he has a high stress job. Um, if you follow him at all you know he is a highway patrolman and so yeah and thankfully RJ doesn't have to drive where he patrols so or he'd really be crazy. Um, <laughs> but anyway, he has a really high stress job, especially in today's world. And so I'm sure Daniel has a happy place, and I'm also sure he probably has a not so happy place. Um, <laughs> the other one that I know she's already addressed it, I don't know if she'll step up and let us see her happy place because she's really kind of busy right now, is Dirt Patch Heaven. Um, I don't know, I'm sure she's got an unhappy place. But I don't know that she's had time to really stop and think about it because she is busy, busy, busy working, making a new tiny home. So the other one that we're just curious to see is Willow Creek Homestead, correct? She's a lot of fun to watch. She's one that I've kind of taken to watching. On, I don't get to watch all their videos, but she always has a smile on her face. But I have a feeling it's well, not it's always, we do stuff. Hey, I did it. And I didn't fall back. <laughs> Anyway, I have a feeling that her smile isn't always as easy to put on as she would have us believe. So, um, we're going to shout out to them and see if they can show us their happy place. And again, they're not so happy place because every farm has one. And don't think that you're going to come into this life and it's going to be all roses. It's not going to... Not all sunshine and rainbows, folks. No. It takes rain to make rainbows. That's right. And the thing is, is that if you think just changing your lifestyle is going to change the stress, it is going to change the stress. The stress is still go. going to be there, though. <sighs> That's right. It's a different kind of stress, and there's different things you have to struggle and worry about. Stress. So think about that before you decide you're going to jump right in. Okay? So I'm going to put links below to Daniel's um, channel so that if he does answer our challenge, you can see his. Willow Creek Homestead, I'll put hers in there, and of course, Dirt Patch Heaven, one of our favorites. Well, I'll be down below so that you can see if they answer our challenge. But we're looking for happy places and unhappy places and how they deal with the stress of a homestead. See you guys later. Bye.